Hey what's up everyone I'm Yash Makan and welcome to my YouTube channel so in this particular video we'll be checking out a package that I've made recently that is device scan animation so if you have made an application on P2P file sharing then you can integrate this package very easily and you can customize everything that you want inside the package in this video we'll be checking out the package we'll be publishing that on pub.dev and also checking out what customizations we can perform inside the package so with that being said if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do that as it will really help the channel out and with all that being said let's begin with the video so we have opened our device scan animation package inside our android studio and here you can see that i have added an example flutter app as well and inside the main dot dot what i have added is inside the home page class that we have I have basically added this device scan widget. So what that will do is it will add the device scanning animation automatically and then customizations we can always do here. So we can pass the gap layers. So we will talk about all of that. But first, let me just run the application. So here you can see the application is started running. So let's wait for that. All right, then so our application is built and it is installed inside of our phone. So here you can see that the animation widget is automatically added. We don't have to do anything in that. Now customizations, what we can do here is inside the widget, you can pass the gap layer. So gap means that if I, so the default gap in the package you can see is 30. So 30 is the distance that we have for each of these. So we can change that gap as well for the layers. So I can make it like 50. So now it will be much more spaced. So we can change that. Next, I can create layers. So how many layers I want in total. So if I want like five, I can add that. So now you can see that one, two, three, four, five we have in total. Else what I can pass is color I can change as well. For example, center node that we have i can make it as colors dot red so you can see that it is updated and i can change the color of my node ring and the scan so the scan i can make it as colors dot red accent so now you can see it is a red accent so i can make a lot of customization and for example we can pass hide nodes as well. If I make it to true, then the nodes that we will be having. So let me just auto restart once. You can see that now we do not have any random nodes generating automatically. If I do not pass that by default, it will be set as false. So if I hot restart now, you can see some nodes randomly popping up. I can also pass the duration. So new node duration and the scan duration both we can pass. So this duration is the scan duration that we have for the scan animation and else I have my new node duration. So after a specific period of time nodes position will automatically update so that I can set as well. So let me show you that so new nodes duration by default it is set to seconds as three and the duration of this animation of the circle animation that we have is set to as 1.2 seconds so we can update that as well and we have a callback method of on initialize so whenever the widget is initialized we can get that and here we can initialize our p2p package right here so on adding that widget here we can add the code for scanning devices nearby devices we can scan so here i can add that code very easily and node color i can change as well so if i want i can make that as for example anything i can make it as yellow and you can see now it is changed so let's change it back to red red only and let's make that and center node let's change it to black okay next what i can do is i can also pass the thickness of the rings that 
that we have around it so i can change that to three or four or five so you can see thickness of the ring is changing as well automatically color also i can pass ring color as colors dot green so now you can see that as well i can change so everything inside this animation we can update now let's get it back so if and also if i do not pass anything here then also it will automatically work just as fine i can also pass here the node type so basically node type is a enum and you can see that here node type as well i have made that is all even or odd by default it is as all but i can set it to node type dot odd what it will do is that let me hot restart now you can see that the animation of the nodes that is generating is only adding inside the odd rings that we have not inside the even ones if i make it as even now the nodes will be only added inside the even ones and not the odd ones so we can change that as well if we want to and by default it will be set to all so all of the rings will be ha having their random nodes so that is all of the properties right now in the version one that we can update and i've talked about later on we can update more we can add more customizations as well in this widget so what i'll do is i'll go to the pubspec yaml so we have an example project as well and let's go to pubspec.yaml and here we have the device scan animation we have the version we have the home page everything is there so what i will do is first i'll share the project on github device scan animation and click on share so that will upload the project on github and then i can go there that will open inside the browser and i can copy that url and i can paste that in my home page next i can just add here device scan animation that's it later on we can change that and dependencies are not here so the package does not depend on any other package as well let me open up and we have a channel log so here let's just add for the version 1 device scan widget is added all right and then what we can do readme i can update so let's just do that as well all right then so the readme is added and that will work for now now let's just go back to our terminal and dry run we can do so let me just run that it will check if the package is validated or not and here we've got one issue found that is a warning so that is not an issue next let's just go and publish that it is uploading and there we go our package is successfully uploaded as well let's just go here device scan animation is added and here this is the package and example also is available that they can check it out i will be adding an image as well right here so it will be beneficial so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it so in this video we made this package that we will be utilizing in my next video that will be a multiplayer tic-tac-toe game which will be available without the internet and multiplayer we can play using the p2p and there we'll be using this device scan animation so if you're interested in that please subscribe my channel like this video and if you have any doubts then comment them below as well and i'll definitely come back on that so with that being said i'm yes peace out